What's good? We got Mr. Beast protect the yacht. And you get to keep it if you protect it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um Man, I wonder what these folks actually do with this shit. I think he sees so he, he like if they want to sell it back to him, they can sell it back to him for the money. But let's get into it. This is officially your yacht. Woo! Congrats, man. <laughs> the only catch is I'm gonna do everything in my power to destroy it. And it's up to you to protect it from attacks like 100 cannonballs. Damn, 100 cannonballs is crazy. Hey, I wonder how do he get, like, explosives and shit like this, bro. Like, this is, like, little shit they be putting, like, when they be trying to sink ships and shit in the Navy and shit. But this is not probably, like, the, the U.S. grade type shit. Probably, like, his own look kind, though. Massive explosives and so much more. But how will he protect that, though? You gotta be kidding me. And you have exactly 24 hours to build defenses for your brand new yacht. Time oh, okay. Using my credit card, immediately bought a bunch of supplies and began building his defense against phase one. 100 cannon shots. Run me through your plan. My plan is to build a giant wall angled to hopefully block the cannon fire. And after working all throughout the night, into the next morning, and all the way through a complete 24 hours, Sean was going to have to call it. Because the time is up. Let's go. Damn, this is all he built in 24 hours, bro. He ain't built nothing else. He ain't got nothing else built. Like, this the only thing that he got built. Like, this it? Shoot some cannons. Will his defense protect his new yacht from 100 cannonballs, or will we start this video over with a new contestant? Phase one of four has begun. I'm nervous. All right, Sean, we're about to fire the cannons at your new yacht. Terrifying. Aim the cannons. Yeah, he's done. He, 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 he is done. Just going right through. Dude, it is ripping through those storage containers. Oh! The cannons were melting through his defense like butter. I'm toast, man. I feel like I lost a little piece of my soul. And probably a piece of your yacht. The cannons were already damaging Sean's yacht, and we're just getting started. These cannons are tearing me up. She's a goner. I guarantee it just went straight through. We kept firing cannon after cannon, ripping through Sean's defense. These cannons are way more hardcore than I thought they were. And after a torturous three hours... Oh, 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 oh. Damn, it took y'all three hours just to shoot all them cannons. I mean, it is a honey, but nice. My yacht isn't shredded. Sean's yacht actually survived. You have a tiny hole and it hit a rail. Dude, bro, a cannonball hit right here. But that was only the least of the damage. No. The bathroom in Sean's yacht was completely destroyed. Look at that mirror right there. Three cannonballs hit your yacht and you nearly survived phase one. I'll take it. Three out of a hundred, it's pretty good. No, I need you to take phase two more seriously. Okay. And if you don't. Oh, okay. So every every phase he get to build something. But I just feel like 24 hours. He, he should be able to put way more than what he got up there, though. I think I'm being serious. I'll just show you. Bring out the bomb. In 24 hours, those 15 C-bombs will explode around your yacht. Oh, no. And by the way, we tested these things before the video. They are extremely powerful. 15 big booms in a circle around this thing. How am I going to protect this? I'm going to go hit the hay in a yacht surrounded by bombs. Come back. And then he go to sleep. Man, I would have been trying to build something there. Fresh in a couple hours. Sean got up the next morning and immediately got to work. But because of the severe thunderstorm, he couldn't use his crane. This is brutal. We're doing everything today by hand. How See, though, what I'm saying, though, if he would have went ahead and got straight to work. If he would have got straight to work, he could have been straight. Are you going to pad up the yacht? Mattresses. That's right. Sean's big plan is mattresses. And his workers bought every mattress in town. All of those mattresses will start ferrying them back and forth. There we go. All the way around. Every inch. I can't even tell this is a yacht anymore. It just looks like a bunch of mattresses. In two hours, we blow up the mines, and he hasn't really done as much as I thought. These are heavy. You know how much easier this would be with the crane? You know how much easier this would be if it wasn't in water? Yes. Box chicken! This is not looking good. I don't think his yacht's gonna survive. Three, two, one! Yeah, he's over. One! Time's up! 
That's all I'm gonna get. So he has some mattresses and water jugs. Carl, can you cover his ears? This might be the most hideous thing I've ever seen. What I'm getting from you is you don't think this is gonna work. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if the yacht sinks. Any last words? Can I have the hat? I will give you my hat if your yacht survives, all right? Three, two, one, blow it up! <laughs> I sleeked out the I, I sleeked out the bombs were gonna come a little bit closer, bro. Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, the bombs would have came a little bit closer. Cause they had them spread it out, so that was the whole thing too, though. Cause they would kind of spread it out, and the explosions like they're big in water. Where they can, they can, but yeah, good thing it survived. Though. I didn't think it was gonna work. Just burn the mattresses. That's right. I'm not sure what to say. Somehow, these mattresses were actually a very effective defense against the mines. In front of us is phase three. This attack consists of three different levels. Ooh. We're going to be launching a million fireworks straight at your yacht, followed by a barrage of flaming arrows a level high. Ooh. Hey, so really, the water jugs are going to come out. Like, he really can surround himself by water jugs. Because no fireworks shouldn't do too much damage, but. Them arrows might might do something. Higher. And finally, catapults launching flaming death balls oh, damn. from the sky. I, I ain't know they were adding out hitting that. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, water gonna be your best bet. And by now, Sean's build strategies were getting pretty efficient. He gave his crew orders. Yeah, let's go ahead and get those containers moved into place for phase three. Then got some much needed rest while they worked. Now it's on to Trebuchet. See, the mind could have been doing something like this, bro. While he was sleeping for his little hours, he could have had them get what, what he need and got them to do it by the time he woke up. But, I mean, he better be lucky he survived. Chase fireworks and flaming arrows. What is your plan? My plan is to basically get more shipping containers and build a giant wall. And I'm basically just hoping that that wall will be tall enough to block the fireworks and the flaming catapult debris from hitting the yacht. That's so sketch. This whole thing is so sketch. Today's my day. I'm feeling it. I'm hard. Hard confidence now. Okay. Compared to phase two, this is insane. You really stepped it up. Yeah, man. You went from a pathetic build that let multiple cannonballs through to this, which I actually think might work. He's currently taking lake water, flushing it through sprinklers to wet his mattresses. All right, we're about to go inspect his defenses. Now, bad time to tell you guys I'm afraid of heights. This is a 40 foot tall solid wall. When we fling the catapults, they're gonna. Hey, I actually would have did this though. I probably would have built like the look at Tina's like I would have built like four, four or five wall. Oh, how many of it would take for me to build like a complete square around it? Then I would stack like more containers on it. And then Damn, what could I what could I put? Damn, like what could I put the uh put on top of it though? Cause I would say uh put some more containers on top of it. To kind of make the roof, but I don't know. Or you probably just keep stacking them up, and you could probably do some, some to cover up the top. Fly over the shipping containers where I'm at, and hopefully hit his yacht. Right. I saw him say, "Cause if it fly over, he's the heat done." Chandler, envision you're a catapult with giant flaming balls. I got you. Ready? Aim. Fire. That's yep. the one. Dead hit! Yeah! Your boat's going down! Not gonna happen! All right, so why are you so confident? You have 30 seconds where you could be building, and you're doing nothing. We're ready. It's covered up. I built the wall. Everything's wet back there. Do we even need to wait 20 seconds? No. Let it rip. Let's do it. Time's up. Phase three is upon us. Catapults, flaming arrows, and a million fireworks. Let's see if his yacht lights on fire. Ready the firework? Any last words? Good luck. Fire the fireworks! But the fireworks might miss though. No fireworks probably gonna miss though. 
I can't say that. It's about the only thing he about most safe from because the fireworks are gonna go all over the place. I've actually been playing since I was a teenager. Oh my There's God. so many. No joke. I used to literally play this in English class when I was 15. Dude, I see smoke on his yacht. And they're back with their sixth installment of the game, Bloons Tower Defense 6. Oh my God. How is it? How is it? If you've never played Balloon Tower Defense, basically you defend yourself against the balloons by placing monkey towers and heroes on the map. I want to celebrate something right now. Look at this, bro. He's hitting his yacht. Oh, they he just hit the top of his yacht. That firework just hit his yacht. Well, the arrows. Now it's time for a thousand flaming arrows. Ready? And because of the sponsor, the next thing we're flinging are balloons on fire. Here we go! Balloons on fire. There it goes! That's going straight for his yacht! Oh, that hit the shipping container right by his yacht. Let's go, baby! Now, if you buy anything in game, use Mr. Beast in the supporter creator code. Come on, come on with this sponsor, man. Still feeling good. I think I'm good. This is a heavy boy. He might he this might be all right though. Like a balloon. He might be all right because like he, they really gotta have some aim to where this shit hit, but you just don't look at enough balloons. But okay, he might be cool. Oh. And if just one of these catapult shots lands on Sean's yacht, this whole video might be over. That was a little closer than I that thought it was gonna be. Fire the final catapult! Oh, that's a direct hit. Oh. Bow. Water! The only thing burnt today is me, boys. <laughs> All right, you know what? Sean, you might be laughing now, but you are not ready for this final phase. In 24 mm -hmm. hours from now, we will be attacking your yacht with a barrage of machine guns. Oh, yeah. he If, if he put more containers, he's straight. Because these bullies, once they hit something, so what's they because they can only go straight. So if he can just put some more containers over there, they really should have been the first thing or something. But these some high power rifle well. Some high power rifle. So if you just put like a little because once once them bullets hit that metal, the trajectory of the bullet gonna change. So if you put like a couple containers in front, and you can even put some water, you can put some water in front and put some water behind. Had a containers in the middle, had like two sets of containers, you would be straight. Any questions about phase four? Easy. Uh, Easy. To every Easy. Phase so far in this video combined. Easy. The fireworks, the catapults, the arrows, the 100 cannons. You have 100 more cannonballs? And rather than a bunch of bombs, this giant monstrosity, borderline nuclear missile, questionably even illegal, island flattening sea mine. All of that on top of machine guns? Yeah. Oh shit, I I ain't I ain't realize all that. Hold on now. Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Today is phase four of the challenge. The general plan is to just put a ton of stuff between my yacht and the up and coming attacks. We're gonna use the remaining crates to try to block any cracks the bullets might get through. That container is just perfectly placed for this outside perch. Use as much dirt as we can to create an impact barrier right in front of the wall where the cannons are gonna shoot. And since the giant bomb can be sent from behind, I'm just gonna do what I can with the time remaining and close the back with water-filled barrels. This challenge is tough. I mean, I'm only water-filled barrels though for the back though. Why you don't put no... I'm away from home, missing the family and the water element makes everything so difficult because you can't just walk out to the boat and put stuff on it. It's made it so difficult. That bomb has me nervous. He has multiple layers of metal shields for the machine guns, a mountain of sand, and a bunch of other stuff to stop the cannons. He still has the tall wall for the projectiles and the soaked mattresses. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody stop! 
Time is up. I think this has all been a bad dream. No, this is real life. Even though it's my job to destroy your yacht, I genuinely hope you win this thing. Ever since I was a little kid, I always wanted a boat like this. I just got to get through this final phase and we're home free. Then you think about Man. it, 100 hours ago, there was just a boat. And now there's all of this. I don't know how you did it. You nervous? No, no. That makes literally no sense whatsoever. This final phase may just be your worst nightmare. Ready your weapons! On top of all these machine guns, we have 100 cannons, a giant mine, the equivalent of all 15 from earlier, all of the fireworks, arrows, and catapults, all together yeah. in one final phase. shot the fireworks stand and caused this to happen. Well, it looks like you're right. the full package. <laughs> what is going on? I'm going to be honest with you, Sean. I don't think your yacht's going to make it. But I think it's time for the next day. Prepare the cannons! Let's see if you've learned your lesson from the last time we Come on, man. Shot the fireworks, kid. Fire! I saw one That's why I said he should have had more containers, though, because, like, bro, the, the cannonball is going to be the hardest thing. You already seen it there, round one. It's actually scaring me now. Although one of the cannonballs hit a yacht, the crate and mound of dirt were able to stop the rest of the impact. And his defense against my flaming catapults were so effective, he even caught a burning death ball. I caught it! <laughs> Wait, did that land in the shipping container? At the rate we're going, this is going to take all night. I think we just send everything all at once. I want you to launch cannons, fireworks, arrows, catapults, everything at the same time. Wait. Two, one, fire everything! Look at how much smoke is out there. It's like World War Three. How much more of this can I take, Jimmy? Every oh my we God. have on your yacht. But like every YouTube video I've ever done, we're saving the best for last. Or in your case, the worst for last. We took the 14 C bombs from earlier in this video and, and combined them together. Mega C -bomb. And See though what I'm saying though? How they let Mr. B get so much explosive like this, cuz <laughs> like hell. But that the next door terror tank. Currently on an RC boat heading directly to blow up your yacht. This I explosion know. is going to be massive. So there she goes. There she goes. So oh. oh yeah. Whoa. <laughs> that was crazy. Bro. Dude. Let's go see if it's Let's there. go check it out. Let's go see my yacht. Look at everything his yacht endured. I've done a lot of weird things. I've never experienced something like this before. You didn't say it had to be pretty. And after all of that, your yacht is still floating, but it does look like some stray bullets and cannibals made it through. Yeah. So, boys, bring it up. Here's $50,000. Yes! So you can actually repair this yacht. Yes! Before we end the video, they're gonna wanna know, what is the name? of your brand new yacht. Its name is Becky. Oh, and if you're wondering, yes, we did ensure the lake was completely cleaned up after this video. For the love of God, subscribe so we can pass T-Series. Yes, this was the, 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 but I don't even lie. I ain't expect his yacht to survive like that because I don't even lie. It, it just seemed like he really ain't had that much protection around his boat anyway. So it's just like, what? But I don't know though. Them bombs when is is explosive as I thought that was gonna be. But then again, how does somebody even get some uh, uh explosive like that in America anyway? But um, I mess with it. I mess with. I mess with the video. Um, make sure y'all drop a like, drop a sub, do the two, and uh, W Mr. Beast. Though, you know what I'm saying? W Mr. Beast. You know, you know, W Mr. Beast. But uh, peace.